So today I'm with Ashlyn. Ashlyn, how old are you? 19. Ashlyn, how long have you been out here on the streets of Phoenix? About a year. You're using uh, counterfeit fentanyl pills, blues? Yes. And how'd you get started with that? Um, um, it, <laughs> it's kind of like I grew up in a uh, house full of alcoholics and stuff, so it's kind of just, you know, in my... Yeah. <laughs> You've seen addiction in your household yeah. and that's what you grew up with? Yeah. And are you out here on the streets like completely by yourself? Yeah. You're really young to be out here. Lots of dangers, right? How much longer do you think you'll be out here on the streets? I want to say not long. Does your family know that you're out here? Yeah. What do they think about that? My dad's done it. I mean, it's not like... You know what I mean? They don't like it. Can't do nothing about it. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Where'd you go to high school? Sora. Is that Scottsdale? So you're about 17, 18 when you saw it, it was introduced to you by yeah. friends or family or friends. Friends in school? Uh, no. Outside of school. From your group of friends, how many of you guys started using those pills? Yeah, from my school? Just me. Just you? Yeah. Being out here on the streets, like, how do you stay safe being so young by yourself and all the dangers around you? I would say God. God's <laughs> watching out for you? Yeah, I'm more, yeah. I'm more religious person when it comes to that. You're religious? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Good for you. How often do you pray? Uh, less than I should, but not a lot. But I should do. Uh, there's always uh, there's always a chance at redemption, right? You could always pray to God and, and uh, He'll enlighten you and yeah and uh, help you somehow, right? Yeah, of course. That's what you're always. looking for. It's never too late. Definitely never too late, especially when you're so young. So um, it's really people usually don't tell me that you know they're they have like a connection with god and sometimes people just get lost and you're currently just lost you know at a very young age you know because unfortunately that's all you saw as a youngster right yeah so now you think you know probably thought it was normal and are you seeing that it's not normal you yeah. know it's not healthy to be out here yeah. and, and live this lifestyle not at all when you were younger what did you want to become as an adult um i like to draw i want to be a tattoo artist very artistic? Yeah. What do, you, cool. what do you think it's going to take for you to get there? To um, actually become a tattoo artist? To get sober, obviously. But practice. Setting my mind to that. You know? Just doing it. Yeah. I mean, obviously it takes money too, but that comes with all that. I just talked to somebody uh, yesterday. She's 23 years old. She was in a 30-day treatment. She had just got out few days before like this past week uh, 23 um, fentanyl blues and uh, so it, it is possible okay so don't don't give up on your dreams your hopes your artistic skills drawing you want to become a tattoo artist you could do it you know um, you just have to like you said get clean and decide to get treatment and, 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 and uh, get well uh, what do you think keeps you from getting well, getting treatment. What do you? What's holding you back? Uh, I don't know. Just a lifestyle. I just um, myself. <laughs> I'm the only thing holding me back. I don't know. Drugs, obviously, but just everything. Else. <laughs> I don't even have to answer that question. I'm just obviously.
If I knew, I'd probably fix it, you know what I mean? <laughs> So, lots of people tell me that they like the lifestyle, the no rules, you know, you get to do whatever you want to do, I get to smoke whenever I want. Yeah, but life's not like that. Absolutely, you're absolutely correct. Life isn't like that, right? Uh, so, um, life isn't like that, life shouldn't be like that. And the good thing is you know better. You seem like very, like very smart, like intelligent. You seem, you sound smarter than your age. Thank you. Like, like you've lived, lived longer, right? Or like mature. Hopefully that maturity helps you. No, you know? Yeah. No, I don't know. No, you don't know? No, I don't know. Do you get that a lot where people just yeah. random guys just... Yeah, all the time. <laughs> how do you deal with that? I just ignore it. Try to ignore it? Yeah. so dangerous and so because not everybody has good intentions right yeah. not everybody just wants to say hi to you most right people don't. most of them don't not out here no <laughs> how does that make you feel that guys just have look at you that way alone show emotion you know it's, it's okay it's, a, it's okay to let it out no it's not okay not right now <laughs> one camera <laughs> by you sharing uh, your story you could actually inspire somebody to perfect you know you help them from, uh, from starting these pills to begin with you could possibly save a life right so they're actually doing a good thing Gets you so sad. Your circumstances and the, your day to day life, tired of it? Do you think you've hit rock bottom? There's no such thing. <laughs> Just gonna keep going. I mean, like, everyone has their own. We all have have a cross to bear, right? We all have a cross to carry. What uh? Are you ready to go to treatment or not yet? I don't know. I'm going to uh, give you my card with my name and number on there. Call me when you, when you do know. Call me when you do. I'm sick of this. I'm just this sucks. You know, I need help. You know, I can't do this by myself. You know, I'm sick of crying out here. I'm sick of feeling alone, right? So uh, I'll give you my card, my number. I want to say thank you very much for sharing your story, opening up, being vulnerable, and uh, motivating others to, wait, to stay away from this. You know, especially young people. The youngest I've seen out here is 13. Like you wouldn't want that for your siblings or ch your children, right? You wouldn't want the lifestyle you're currently living for the people you love. Right? So by you having the courage to share your story, you honestly can save somebody's life. So you should be really very proud of that. Your family should be proud of you. And uh, I just want to say thank you. What do you ask you? If you had weed. Uh, uh, so I'm just, I'll hand you a, uh, a uh, goodie bag. These are uh, toiletry items. Donated by one of my uh, subscribers. Uh, her name is uh, Quinn. Are those items that you could use? Yeah. Okay. Anybody could. Yep. And uh, and uh, do you have any any message for your family, friends, if they see you, if they see this? What what do you want to tell them? They already know. I they love already know. Them. Love them. That's all. Okay. And. Uh, I'm also, uh, lunch has been donated by my subscribers, so I'm gonna go grab you some lunch, okay? okay so thank you. thank you very much, stay safe, thank be you good. Guys. Be safe.